Hi guys, my name is Tanya. Welcome to my channel or welcome back for those who have been following me. Um, today I want to talk about things that have coming out or that have come out or just things that I'm generally interested in getting. Um, there's been so much makeup that's being released lately, especially with the holiday period coming up, that there's a few things that I would love to grab. Um, I've never really dabbled with buying online yet, so that's going to be something interesting for me. And um, I'm going to be doing a video soon for um, where Australians or anyone in general can buy some of these higher um, brands, high-end brands of makeup and um, yeah, whether they can buy them in Australia or where they can buy them in America and have them shipped to Australia at a cheaper rate. But some of the things that I wanted to talk about um, are a lot older than some of the stuff that has been out. So if you're interested in knowing um, what I'm interested in or uh, what I'm not interested in, stay tuned. Welcome back. All right, so I was looking on, I follow a um, two girls, oh, what are they called? They, they do beauty news and um, they also like to destroy makeup. So um, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about I've actually seen on their channel either recently or in the past. And um, a little while ago they were talking about the Kathleen Lights um, collaboration with uh, Colourpop with the Zodiac palette and I fell in love with that to start off with like I, I really wanted to get it and I think it's, a lot of it is due to the fact that um, I like Zodiac yeah I'm a Libra and I was looking for my my um, you know my color and I looked at it and I'm like oh yeah it's okay and I just realized that I sort of just got I was going to buy it just because it was a Zodiac palette and not because I actually liked the colors until I really sat back down and I looked at the entire palette and I thought there's only really maybe two out of I think how many 12 shades there that I would have actually used and I mean the price is really good it's only $18 I believe that's American so um, probably I'm not sure how much that would be Australian, so I'll probably list that somewhere up here. And um, although I do love some of the colors that are in there, um, it got me interested in what other palettes were out and about. So I took a little look and I found another Zodiac palette, which is by BH Cosmetics, which has 25 shadows in it. And I fell in love with that. And um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I wanna help out Kathleen Lights, but wow. Some of the shades that are in um, the BH Cosmetics palette plus a bonus highlighter. And i got to say that I do love the colour for Libra in there. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm particularly interested in purples. I love purples. And um, so I'm hunting a palette that's got heaps of different variations of purples at the moment. So um, I can get the BH Cosmetics one. BH Cosmetic Palette from Glam Raider uh, for $35 and um, yeah so that's what I was looking at doing um, so those those two are the ones that I was looking at but I also am interested in another palette and oh, the price for me um, this is the only reason why I haven't brought it before I even saw the purples in the BH Zodiac BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette and the Kathleen Lights Colourpop palette, Zodiac palette, I saw the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, which is $76 in Australia, and you get how many? 21 shades, but they're beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful, and um, I was drawn to quite a few colours in the bottom end, um, definitely the purples, of course, but I just like the colour range, and I'm not sure... I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to be able to pull a lot of the colours off. Um, I, I play it pretty safe with me. I am cool toned and uh, cool skin toned, sorry. And um, a lot of warm colours just don't look good on me. And um, I'm pretty new to playing around with eyeshadows. But I love this palette. I love the packaging of this palette. I love what I've seen other YouTubers doing with it. Um, uh, they've, they've said that the formula is fantastic, that it's easily blendable, and that's something that I want to try because I'm sick and tired of playing around with palettes from, you know, a lot of drugstore ones that I'm finding are really just nasty. Um, there's exceptions to the rules, so, um, but I want to try at least one high-end palette to compare it with everything else that I've got. And I've just got to push myself to see whether or not I want to spend the price. And... 
yeah, so I, I really do like that one, but I'm torn whether or not I want to spend the money to buy that because that's that's a lot of money for me. That's, you know, hmm. <laughs> so anyway, um, what else? From Wet n Wild, I want to get their Blossom Glow Highlighter. I've been looking for a highlighter for a very long time and um, I can't find anything that I like at the drugstore um, or pharmacy, whatever you want to call it. And I've been let down by e.l.f. Um, it may work for a lot of other people, but it just doesn't work for me. And um, I just don't like their baked highlighter. And um, I have another one by Essence, which is a lot better. It's a lot better than um, me trying to use the e.l.f. baked one. But I've seen a lot. Actually, that's what I'm wearing at the moment. So I don't know if you can you can see that or not. But it looks quite glowy. Um, in the screen that I'm looking at but in person it's a little bit tamer than what it looks like through the monitor and um, yeah so anyway I, I do like that essence one but I would really like to try the one from wet n wild I've, I've seen it on so many youtubers and it just looks it looks gorgeous so uh, that one I don't have the price for that one listed so I guess I'll put the price up there but I also want to get a couple of their single eyeshadows in brulee and nutty just for like transition I don't really have anything that I can use as a transition um, and I've got hooded eyes I don't I've got to be really really careful what I do put on my eyes so I just want something sort of um, low-key just to have up in you know the transition area above my um just below my eyebrow and so I'm looking at getting those shades um, which they also very highly recommended. Physicians Formula is another brand that I would like to try some of their products with. A lot of these brands that I'm actually mentioning I've never tried before. Um, most of the brands that I've been sticking to lately um, at, since I've started would be um, Maybelline, L'Oreal, ALF, um, Brain Fart, ah. There's another one, NYX, um, which I really love NYX. Um, yeah, so I want to get out and about and I want to try some of these other products. So from Physicians Formula, I want to try their bronzer, which you can get from Glamrader. And I believe that it is $30 um, Australian for the bronzer. And I would also like to get, um, oh, I want to get that in light. Um, I've seen a lot of other people use that. I've seen, Ka uh, not Kathleen Lights, I've seen Ali Glines use it. I watch her a lot. She's fantastic. I'll list her um, YouTube channel down below. She is wonderful. Absolutely gorgeous personality and gorgeous person all together. Um, so I follow her a lot and um, I do believe that I saw it from her channel. I'm not... Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that um, I've seen it from hers. But yeah, I do want to get the light bronzer. Um, I have a lot of trouble with bronzers. I have a lot of trouble with contouring in general. Um, and sometimes I used to like, I like to use a little bit of a bronzer to contour instead of actually, you know, the harsh lines of a contour. I'm really not good at that. So I want to try them. And um, I also want to try one of their um, blushes, which I believe is $22. Um, yeah, and... Before I found the Wet n Wild um, highlighter, I did want to try the Physicians Formula highlighter, and I still do, but I want to try Wet n Wild more than I wanted to try Physicians Formula. So, what else? I got a little list. Hmm. Me and my lists. All right, but I have been looking for a palette that has, well, pretty much all purples, so I can play around with so many different shades of purples. Now, originally I wanted to get the Morphe um, 35P palette, um, and I still do. I still do want to get it. Um, a lot of it is purples, a whole bunch of different shades of purples. Most of them look matte, but um, I don't know. I've never brought from Morphe before, and they have just recently opened up a... Um, uh, an online store for Australia, which I'm a little bit excited about. Um, and I do want to get some of their brushes as well, not from the new collection that's been brought out. Um, there's a collaboration that's been brought out, but I can't remember who the collaboration's for, which I'll also put here. Um, but I did look at those brushes, and it just looks a little bit overdone. Like, I mean, they've given her this crown full of brushes, and don't get me wrong, it looks really great, but the brushes... It doesn't excite me that much. I mean, I do like the look of the brushes. I don't necessarily like um, how much the entire pack costs, but I mean, 
I don't need all of those brushes. I just need a few really, really good brushes. So I may get some brushes from Morphe, but it won't be that pack. Um, but they are beautiful. And I have heard some good things about some of the Morphe brushes. So we'll see how we go. Now, I'm still undecided about that palette. It's really good priced. I actually don't recall how much that is. I don't have it written down. So I will list it when I put the picture up of the Morphe 35P palette. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. Um, I think I'm going to have to just buy it myself and then decide myself whether or not I like Morphe or not. And, um, Huda, Huda Beauty. The reason why I was talking about Morphe Purple Palette is because I was really interested in getting the Morphe 35P palette and then I saw Huda Beauty uh, bringing out, I believe it's five new sort of um, mini palettes. I don't know how many shades are in each one. I think three, six, nine, twelve. I'm not sure, but I will show them all up here. There is five and it's her Precious Stone palettes and they come in the colour <clears throat> excuse me, they come in the colour Emerald, <clears throat> which is green, Sapphire, which is obviously blue, Topaz, yep, <laughs> I don't know what, uh, uh, Topaz, would that be an orange? Topaz, Amethyst, which is the purple, look how beautiful it is, and the Ruby, which is sort of the ready sort of pinks, and um, you know what I like about every single one of these palettes maybe not so much the ruby, is that they they are like in your face, you know, like boom, colour, you know, like greens and blues and, and purples and oranges. And then you get to the red palette though. Then you get to the ruby one. And I don't know, like it's not as bold red as I expected that it would be in comparison to how bold all the other colours are strong to the true to their nature with the other ones. But anyway, I don't care about the Ruby palette because I don't really like red. So, um, yeah, but the Amethyst palette, or oh, even the Sapphire, like how beautiful is the Sapphire? I've got blue eyes myself and I try not to put blue on my eyelids because it can sort of wash out my own eye colour and um, I try and enhance that instead of sort of making it wash out. But if I could get away with wearing blue, I would so have that sapphire palette. I would have that probably over the amethyst, even though I love the amethyst palette. I love purples in general on my eyes. Um, and I think that's probably why it's, a, it's the closest that I can get to by having to having blue on my eyes, but not, you know, so, and purple's gorgeous anyway. So I really, 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 really do want to get the Huda Beauty Amethyst Precious Stones palette, which is going online on September 14th on the Huda website itself and Sephora and going, uh, uh, being released globally on the 21st. I don't know how much it is, but I'm going to look into it because it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, what else? Oh, L'Oreal. This is a bit of a surprise for me. I think I'm drawn into this. It's the L'Oreal, um, Isabel Morant, is that how you say it? Isabel Morant collection? Anyway, I think I'm drawn in by the packaging more than the product. So I really need to look at the product more before I make up my mind. But the packaging has drawn me in. I love everything about it. I'll put it up here, but I love everything about the packaging. I don't know, it's just bold and I like it. So um, anyway, she's releasing this in uh, online in September. Um, is it September 19th or did I say, yeah, must be September 19th. I've got a little, um, with my writing, I've written a little um, price 19, but I don't think it's $19. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's being released on September the 19th. So there are going to be seven matte lipsticks, a multi-purpose lip and cheek tint, a highlighter, an eyeshadow duo, which I'm not sure what colours they are yet, and a brown mascara. And I'm particularly interested to see these matte lipsticks. I'm fond of matte lipsticks. I don't like to be all sparkly and, um, you know, I like a little bit of, um, not gloss, or what I want to say, like a, a little bit of shine, I guess, on the lips, but nothing too much. Um, and I don't know, lip and cheek tint, that doesn't really interest me that much. Maybe the brown mascara, and I want to know what the eyeshadow duo looks like as well. So that's something that is interesting me, and I want to, I want to learn more about it. Now, what else have we got? I have got a... Ooh, I got one here that I'm not sure whether I want yet. So Becca Cosmetics has released their Goddess... Volcano Goddess palette. Um, I think online... 
and it's going to be released in store on the 26th of September um, for $46 I would assume that would be American so um, I'm undecided about this one like I saw um, sneak peeks on um, Beauty News itself and it got me interested and then I saw the colors swatched and I was even more interested there are a few colors that I like there but I don't know how much I like them. Like, I don't know if I like them enough to purchase the entire palette. Because there are some colours there that I know that I definitely can't use or that um, I already have and either do or don't use, but not really. So, um, I'm going to sit on that one for a little while, but I do, I do think that I won't be getting it. I don't know, I don't know. But I, I do like the look of it. All right. I've only got two things that I sort of don't want like I said there's a lot of makeup being released now and um and I'm not going to sit here I'm not going to mention all of it because it's just like <laughs> way too much but there's two things that I know that I definitely don't want and the first one that I definitely don't want is the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost collection um Jeffree Star releases a lot of stuff and I don't I've never tried anything of his in fact I've been following him on YouTube for a long time before I even realized that he was doing anything to do with makeup I was actually following him for his um his journey but anyway um I just feel that everything is too frosty you know everything's just a little bit too sparkly and I'm I'm not really into shimmery sparkly bling bling you know um and, you know, I, I do believe that there's a place for it and um, a lot of people love it and that's absolutely fantastic. But with me personally, I mean, even though I've got really dry skin, um, I just find that if I put anything really shimmery, shiny on my face, it just sort of accentuates my eczema or, um, I don't know, I just feel too done up. Um, yeah, and so yeah, it, where, whether it's the extreme frost or whether it's the liquid frosts or just anything like that, there's just... Mm, there there are some things from Jeffrey that I do want to try, but um, nothing like any of the highlighters or the, the frosts or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit too much for me, but I know a lot of people are liking the idea and they're very excited about it. The other thing that I don't want, I thought I did, but I... Let me explain. It's the Kat Von D Fetish Eyeshadow Palette. Now, there was a photo that was released, um, Beauty News again, and I looked at it and I'm like, mm, yeah. I thought, I liked this. I liked, I liked the outside of the packaging and I liked the, the colours that they showed, um, which I put the photo here. And then a little while later, um, they opened up the palette. And I looked at the colours in the palette, and I looked at the palette itself, and I'm like, eh. Um, I don't know, it just looked boring. Um, nothing appealed to me. I just thought, oh, okay. And it's funny, because it looks so different to the colours that they show on the original photo, and then, and then they open up the palette, and I was like, eh. <laughs> and then they showed the swatches, and... I just can't justify it. I mean, uh, give me a minute, I think it's $63 American. I'll have to check that, make sure that that is actually American. But if that's $63 American, damn, <laughs> nope. Um, I can't justify that. I mean, I don't even, I'm not sure what the conversion would be, but I'll just, I'll, I'll probably link that or put that up here. I don't know, but if it's, even if it's $63 Australian, it's still getting a little bit iffy for me. Like, if I only like three, maybe, or four colors out of the lot. And, and like I said, when I saw the swatches, um, it looked really dirty, like, really, um, I don't know, like, grey, black, yeah, and the only thing that really jumped out at me was the purples and the sort of bluey, greeny, um, aqua sort of colour, um, so, yeah, I think that there are some nice colours in there, but just not enough for me to spend that kind of money, um, and I'm not sure, like I said, I've never tried anything from um, Kat Von D, but I have heard that the formula is difficult to work with and I am crap at doing my eyeshadow at the moment. And I really need something that's going to work easily for me. Um, almost do itself, you know. So I, if I was going to spend that kind of money on an eyeshadow palette, I would definitely buy the um, Urban Decay Born, Born to Run palette over the Kat Von D, um, what is it? F Fetish Eye? 
Yeah. Um, and I think I can get some similar colour looks out of them, um, out of the Urban Decay one opposed to the um, Kat Von D anyway. But they're the two that I'm not looking forward to. Um, and the Kat Von D one is set to release on the 27th of the 9th online. And um, yeah. So those are the things that I'm either excited about, not excited about, or I'm not sure about. There is a lot more coming out. There's a lot of things that I really want, but I just don't have enough time to sit here and yak about it. So um, I completely forgot. There's some other things that I wanted to get as well. So if it looks like that um, the video is darker now, it is because it's night time. So anyway, um, the other thing that I wanted to get is... Um, all that I'm really excited about is NARS has brought out some more shades and more of their single shades. I believe they've got 60 shades. I don't know if all 60 of those are um, brand new, but they've got 60 single shades and I believe 30 um, double or duo um, shades. And there is a purple in there that I, oh, I gotta have. I'll put a photo right there, but um, they also have um, a lipstick or is it a lip... Um, gloss or something like that. They've got some lip glosses that are absolutely gorgeous too. I don't know if they're really new or not, but um, they look pretty. So I definitely want to try those out as well. So anyway, uh, once again, thank you guys very much for joining me. And um, the, oh, that's the other thing as well. Um, my phone just went off. Um, I'm looking for some really good foundation brush, um, liquid foundation brushes, but not like the pa the flat paddle brushes, like a sort of like a buffing one. I just threw out one because it was horrible. It was a flat kabuki kind of brush, but it was just like a no-name nothing brand. And every time that I would put it on my face, and if I would wipe or even if I would dab, I'm not joking, probably... 20, 30 hairs would be all over my face and I um, did a look the other day and I used it I thought maybe I tried to pull out every single hair that, I, that was loose and then I still went over it and I felt like a koala or some something really furry it was horrible I ended up having to take the foundation off because I had hairs literally all over my face embedded in the foundation so if you've got any suggestions please feel free to comment down there um, or any other purpley shady colors or anything like that or even just cool tone palettes that you ring that you reckon that um, I might like, feel free, comment, let me know what you're interested in because I would love to know and so I can have a look. There are a lot of brands out there that I'm unaware of, um, a lot of indie brands out there that I'm unaware of and um, I'm excited. I, I want to know what you like um, and see how far different it is to what I like. Yeah, just give me a like, um, thumbs up, subscribe if you like and um, I'll be back to do some more reviews. I've just gone to the um, Chemist Warehouse 50% uh, off sale and I've picked up a couple of new foundations. I've picked up a um, tattoo eyebrow pen sort of thing which I'm going to play around with. I may be picking up some more things so I do have some um, first impression reviews coming up. I'm excited about that and um, yeah come back if you want to see any of that and um, thank you so much for watching. Alright, bye!